Video Tutorials by Andrew Buckle. This tutorial I'm just going to quickly show you how you can quickly add a grid to Infinity Photo. Now first thing to do just quickly go over here to view and you'll see an option here for show grid. That's it, simple as that, show grid. So if you actually want to remove that just go over there and don't show the grid so just removes. Now of course I want the grid there. Now next thing to do of course is to actually modify it so you might not want that type of grid. Obviously if you've got an image there you, there's a whole obviously a number of things you might want to do with an image you maybe want to use it for drawing or maybe for aligning objects etc now or snapping to it, I should say this is the first option I'll just quickly show that again because I just quickly did that while I was talking about that it's down here view grid and access manager so just there just select that and you'll see a show grid now you can actually remove the grid, hide the grid, just by clicking there. Now there's an option here for use automatic grid. Now, you could use that perfectly okay. I mean, it's uh, it's fairly reasonable, but deselect that and you'll just get the basic grid there. Now it's a basic grid, there's an option here, advanced, basic, advanced. So here, spacing, and what you can do, you just see by just changing that so you can make it very very small just go all the way down to a point where you can't see it at one pixel obviously you just go out there i mean personally for me I just generally i have it quite something like that but you can actually see you can just stretch it up to about 256 now you can if you want just go and put 600 there you don't have to keep obviously it's the slider and then the slider will work from that so you just go back again that's obviously the maximum for the slider 256 but again let's say 300 or something like that so if you've got an image as well you can obviously just use that for maybe drawing etc on a piece of paper and use those sort of things now you can modify other things such as the divisions and i'm just going to quickly show divisions so i'm just going to just add and i'm just going to say one there so two so you can actually see now i've got them in different colors so you can actually so you've got there obviously grid lines there and two you can see the brown, darker brown two appears there now it might be you might have your set there to opacity so you can actually you can't see it so you might think there's no grid line no subdivision lines well you can get them back just simply just by doing that changing that so you can just see it just vanishes whatever you can of course have it reduced so you can actually have it like about there so you can actually just see them as very fine faint lines now i'm perfectly happy having it like that okay let's even modify up to ridiculous levels and then at some point it just breaks down so obviously it just so you just keep it there like that. okay you can also modify the color now you've got grid lines here so you can actually say i don't want that color i can actually go and say green now maybe that's not so great or maybe but if you of course go for white you won't see it at all either so maybe go for black unfortunately what you can't do is actually modify the actual thickness of the lines which would be quite nice if you can make it two or three there's no feature i don't think to actually do that maybe that might be a feature for another version who knows now what you can do then you've got obviously you've got those you can see there's a link there and you can link the grid colors so if you want actually just want to link the grid colors you can do that you can just set them so they're linked personally i prefer not to have them linked so just click there there is an advanced option now there's a whole range of raft of features here so now we've got standard that's just the one that was in the basic why isn't it called basic i don't know maybe it should be called that anyway it's called standard there isometric and you've got so you can see straight away you've got a slightly different you can't use the automatic as soon as you do that it just goes back to the basic grid so you could actually there's a whole range of stuff i'm not going to go through more because there's quite a lot of different features that you can go through but you can just and some will show different things if you select them you will see if you can just go there diametric oblique and certain things like here will appear or not appear to be available so trimetric right triangular I actually quite like some of these these are really quite useful now what would be even more useful would be if the grid was actually available as actual lines if you convert them into actual paths 
or just actually have it as a layer, which you could then sort of use. But unfortunately, it doesn't again seem to be a feature for that, which is a pity. Again, you've got the same features here for control in there, so you can see it just fades away there. There's also for snapping as well, do not add, constraining, snapping, etc. That's again all quite like snapping up here as well. So you've got snapping, a whole range of more options and some obviously to explore. I'm not going to go through it all in this video. And some of them are quite obscure, I think personally, but I'm certain with a bit of explanation, exploring, you can actually find uses for them. Now, triangular, horizontal triangular, two one triangular, again some great wonderful ones there, and two axis, and then you'll see that you've actually got options there. So you can actually modify that, you can move that around. And you've got gutter as well, so you can actually change the guttering as well, which is quite nice. So you can get this sort of like lovely gap there as well, and so on and so on. The whole range of different options. And to go through them all, take quite a while. So they've really added a lot of great features here to go through. And of course, once you've actually got that, and I'm just going to close it at this point. So you've got the link, you can like say snapping, you can up here and you've got snap to grid and then you of course just go over here to the various tools and pen tool and you can just see so you've got options here just click there click there and so on and so on and you can explore it obviously for adding images and much more hope you found this uh, quick tutorial of the grids of use thank you very much